No, you're not. <sighs> Hello. Hello. Beautiful people that listen to our podcast. I don't know what episode this is. I stopped counting a long time ago. Well, last time was 13, so this was 14. Mm-mm, I did another you one. Track. 15. I did two other ones. <laughs> With, you cheated on us two times? No, I'm just kidding. That's this is what, 14. Damn. <laughs> I feel like it was a close enough. Well, like, where are you going to sit at? Right here. All right, yeah, because you oh, I'm on the floor, floor. Yeah. my own apartment that I told Mary she was going to be on the floor. The floor I the like floor, this floor. couch. Did I get a new couch finally? Finally. Guys. This shit is nice and firm. I like it. Did, it didn't have like a set? What, oh, yeah. There were, no, there was another piece I could have got, but I didn't want to spend too much. Oh, that's it. So, like, so I can get it later, but I don't mm-hmm. know. I might just get to. For a one bedroom, two this is a big ass living room. Though. This is a big ass. I know. Room. I feel like, like I might just get two armchairs. You just need more. That's a good idea. Yeah. Huh? Sounds like you're stealing someone's idea. Or maybe I'll just have. <laughs> um, I, I, see, I see that there before other places. <laughs> you should get like, like a pool table. No. Yeah. You could or totally a pinball fit, machine. You could totally fit one in here. Dark table. Yeah. Dark yeah, for sure. You can totally fit one in here. Just lay your Who? wall with art pieces. No, what? What? No, 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 no. I'm not trying to have a pool table here. I don't play pool. I don't like pool. Just for show. I hate pool. Yeah. A mini pool table. Or when you have people Mm-mm. over. Yeah. What are you going to do when you have that. people over? We're going to watch TV or we're going to sit here and podcast. <laughs> you two are the only people I have over religiously and Chris. <laughs> and we go out to the bars and he's here. So. Oh, okay, well, fine. We don't Does spend that much. That? <laughs> you should have like a separate room for him. And like, oh, little, little, yeah, a little divider wall. And then he got the pay rent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you stay in the night and give me $50. <laughs> $50 a night. Well, he yeah, actually said that, um, I guess, I was with him yesterday, and all of our friends were like, yeah, well, he can always stay at our house. He can always stay at our house. And I thought, great, because what if I meet someone when we go out and I want to go back to their place? I don't, you know, mm-hmm. not Chris has a place to stay. And <laughs> that's not my place. That's hilarious. Oh. It was, we ran into you on Saturday. I ran into you because I came to you. This is true. I was drunk out of my mind. I could tell. Yeah. You, oh. What? Oh. What did I do? Did I do anything? I well, oh, <laughs> what did I we, do? Were, we all came into the bar. No names, remember? I came okay. Yeah. We all came into the bar and then you came up to all of us and said, hi, hi, whatever. And you kept like leaving. I said, wait, where are you going? And then you gave me a face like, don't ask any questions. Oh. You gave yeah. that, that like, smile and you're like. Yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, you just ran outside. I said, oh, well, okay. So where did he go? Uh, I don't know. This is the first time we brought it up. So where'd you go? You don't know. I went home. Uh, I had a friend picking me up and I just went home. That's all I did. No, you did that. No, for real. I went to Frisco Freeze and went home. I'm an old man. It was, what time did I see you guys? I, like, I was like one in the morning. No, it probably wasn't. I was drunk. Out of no, it was not. It was like 11. Was it really? Yeah. 11 really? or 11.30. You came back. You did I? You came back, what yeah. What did he do? You, I think I went outside we, to check on you, David and those guys. He was already inside. What the hell was I doing? Oh. Mm. What was that night? What did you guys do? Well, we went out to watch. Uh, we went to Cheers to watch some boxing matches. And then it was weird because I saw my coworker there. So that shit was kind of like entertaining because he was hella drunk, talking shit the whole time. Watched some fights and then we left and then uh, we went to the forum. No, we were going to go to the forum, but it was just too, too, too crowded packed. in there. Yeah, so we just said, fuck it. Went next door to the office. Had more beer. Like, we literally, we took down between the three of us, like, four pictures of Mac and Jacks. And that was it. And, like, just hammered out of my mind. I left. I left my car downtown until like noon the next day. Um, what else happened? Just a lot of mess happened that night. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it was. It was. I lived vicariously through your guys' mess. Where were you? I was at home. Oh, missed out. It was a fun time. <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, I, I didn't expect to go out at all this weekend, anyways. So. Because we all going out Wednesday. Pretty yeah. Much, yeah. I like plan out my. Go out to me too. Go I try out. to. I can't. I t- I say I'm just gonna ch- like my plan Saturday originally. I cha- I was gonna change my brake rotors on my car. I was gonna kick it, watch some Vice documentaries, and then some I was what documentaries? Vice. See, I'm gonna Vice News. Uh-huh. When you're on YouTube again, watch that shit. It's fucking amazing. Cause like it's like uh, 
it's like it's like news, but it's like really raw. So it's like they're gonna take you to like Isn't jail that a cells. Show? They have a channel now. Oh okay. I yeah. Think I've seen that and um, Action Bronson has his own show on that channel, but it's a bunch of it's really good stuff. Um, it's not scripted at all. It seems like, and it's just you see people talking about you know like heroin addicts. They'll go to places where carjacking's a real big thing, and like they'll talk and have interviews with people that do that shit. So it's kind of it's really they actually intriguing. steal the cars. Yeah, it's really intriguing. Like they'll be they'll have the masks on and shit, so oh. you can't see anything. So it's it's really it's really entertaining. It's way better than watching the news that we watch now. And then, uh, yeah, and I was gonna go to I was gonna go to Metronome and like design some shit for a little bit for uh, the spring, but that did not happen. I ended up drinking beer, and then it turned into a night. I feel like time. that's the life of a single person. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and that's the thing too, because like I was thinking, like, what if I get in a relationship, right? Like, what am I gonna do? I don't. I feel like I'll have way less freedom than I have now. Uh huh. Like, no, I, really, I don't think so. No. Like, it depends you guys on who you go you're out with. together and stuff but like what, that. Sometimes yeah. you don't want to bring her. That's true. true. She should. She should. Um, Depends, yeah, like I said, it depends on who you're with. Yeah. If she's, like, cool with, like, me hanging out with my guys, vice versa, I'd be cool with her hanging out with her girlfriends. It's whatever. But there's some some girls that are not down with that. Yeah. yeah. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. And that shit is stressful. And I ain't got the time or the patience. But, uh, yeah, and then Sunday, I went up to Seattle and watched the football games. Um. And uh, Uber Your Eats. Your team didn't do that good, did they? No, nah, they did. They lost. <laughs> but what's crazy, though, is that our division is so bad is that we're still in the playoff uh, standings. Like, oh, we good. still make the playoffs. So, we'll see. Uber Eats is a great thing. To what have. is that? I'm so mad they don't have that in Tacoma. What it's is, not, is it's, not, it's, uh, it's like Uber for your yeah. food. They deliver it to you. Yeah. But anywhere. It's only, almost. But I heard it's only choice restaurants. Yeah, but I mean, there's a lot to choose from. Oh. Sure, it's better than absolutely nothing. Yeah. Twitch. And then, so what do you, what do you do? You call the restaurant? No, no. So you, you use the, there's an Uber Eats app. Uh-huh. You use the app, put your information in there and shit, like, like an Uber. Uh-huh. And then, uh, you do like your current, lo- lo- your, tr- ah, I can't talk, your current location. And then it just pops up with all the shit around you. And like, they'll kind of estimate how long it'll take for each little restaurant. So sometimes you could want something that's coming in less less than thirty minutes. Oh, you could choose that so one. Nice. So yeah, I had sushi. There's like Yelp twenty four, I think. There's that website Yelp twenty four, the app Yelp twenty four. I heard about that. What yeah, is that? but that takes forever. Yeah. Like I use I think Amazon that. has some shit like that. Really? It takes forever. Yeah, yeah, it takes forever, like up to an hour, sometimes even longer. To get your food? Mm-hmm. And they just they pick it up and they del- they knock on your door and deliver it and yeah. you do you tip them? I don't think so. I don't know if you can. What did you do? I said, thank you, uh-huh. and I walk off. Because I know some person who tips Uber drivers. Like cash uh-huh. or through the app? Can At you cash. even do it through the app? Uh-uh. Yes, yeah, you can. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Oh, you can? I think you can, yeah. Oh, no. he tips cash. He always asks me, do you have any cash on you? Like he's a cab driver? Yeah, and I'm like, no, I don't. And I get out the car. Well, that's I'm like, like what I tried doing, I guess, the first time I Ubered. Yeah, it was kind of hilarious. But you tried to, like, pay for it. Oh, did I? Yeah. Why am I so generous when I'm drunk? Mm, I don't know. Gave us twenty dollars and told us to have a good we time. We need to stop talking about that one. I haven't experienced <laughs> that. I haven't experienced that. That's just hilarious. <laughs> experience me being generous when I'm drunk. I haven't experienced you being generous. Nah, yeah, you're not really <laughs> generous because you drink my fucking drinks every time. Every time I like what we were out one time. What you say? Oh, you say hold time. this. I said hold this. I'm gonna use the bathroom. Oh, come back. This it's gone. Empty. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> She's got. Yeah. The drink's gone and shows, so is Mary. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so Uber Eats is fucking tight. They need to um, bring that over down to Tacoma because it's gonna slow I hate make it through, having I'm sure. pizza Maybe. being the only option at 11 o'clock at night that delivers. Yeah, I'm surprised it's like... You know, that hour is not good for you. Well, when you're, you know, at a, at, you know, after a night of going out or something, and you want... You don't go out, though. But when I do go out... Which is I a rare like, occasion... Fuck you guys. You can just <laughs> just take a just take a Uber to Frisco Freeze and call it a day. Or, I had Frisco Freeze that night and my French fries were soggy as fuck. It was terrible. I was a little upset when I saw your check in at Frisco Freeze. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh. But we ate leftover carbonara because we went to Pomodoro. What is that and what is that? 
Pomodoro. Yeah. It's this really good Italian restaurant. Is it in Tacoma? Mm hmm. It's on Proctor. Oh. It's really good. Really like cute. Old Town? What do you mean, Old Town? Like Old Town Proctor, like where the Met is and Safeway. Yeah, it's right on the house. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's. Oh. I want to go out in that area. And, uh, I mean, there's no bar. I mean, there is a bar there's there. There's a couple there. Um, and the, I, I don't know what carbonara really is. It was Chris's leftover dish because um, I ate all of mine. So. <laughs> We, it's like a noodle. Yeah. It's With a noodle, like it's mushroom. There's no fish. Although, Courtney got this halibut. It was like a baked halibut, halibut. with like Love chips, halibut. with like a um, Lay's chips crust. Mm. And it had like lemon and butter. It was so <gasps> good. That's it's so a cute, cute like date place. It's oh, a really nice inside. I still need to visit that yeah. Thai place. That. If a boy took me there on a date, I'd be like, oh, this is really nice. <laughs> Will you Lay's potato chip halibut? Yeah. No. <laughs> So, it was really nice. There's a place there that me and Eric would go to called uh, Terry's Office Tavern. And it's a bar, and all they serve is beer and wine, I think. And, like, their bar food, they'll give you, like, these fucking chicken wings. Like, a big-ass thing of, like, 20. And then, like, the Joes. Their Joes are, like, the size of your fucking forearm. And then... Joes? What are Joes? Jojos. Oh, okay, okay. And then they got fucking fried chicken that are big as fuck. I was at Mount Tavern a couple days ago. Uh, yeah. Oh, before I went to Palm Springs, I was there. Really? Why? Huh? Why were you there? Did you get the chicken there? Or mm-hmm. you there? I got the chicken there. Oh, Who were you with? Who were you with? Why do I want all these questions all the time? I was with the cop. Oh. He went there. He knows some good spots. And some fr- yeah, I've been there before with him. Oh. And I got the chicken. Sure did. But I don't like thigh pieces. Wait, did you eat, like, chicken wings? Or did you I got like, the, the chicken. fried chicken. I got the fried chicken mm-hmm. and the Joes. And they give you, like, a breast, a wing, I think. A mm-hmm. breast, wing, leg, and thigh. Yeah. And I don't like thighs. I, I wish they would really? ask. Yeah, and I don't like leg pieces either. Hmm. You're picky. It's too... The leg pieces are too... They have a lot of tendons in them. When you bite, you can see, like, the veins and stuff. I don't like that. It's very... Just vis- eat it with your eyes closed. It's too visual for me. It's too visual for me. I don't know. I need to go back there. I haven't been there in a long time. So. The Joes are good. Like, JoJo's with some ranch. Like, that homemade buttermilk ranch shit. I don't know if people can do ranch with, like, fries or, like, pizza and stuff. I don't know about pizza and ranch. Is a no, too pizza, much. no. That's, you're childish when you do that shit. That's what you do in middle people school. People put in their spaghetti, too. Ranch? Ranch? I've seen it. It's disgusting. Oh, God. Ranch, for me, is just made for, like, salads and, like, salads. Ranch, to me, is, when you order ranch, I think fat. I mean, ranch to fat. me has equals like like oh you you don't know nothing about a good salad dressing. Yeah. Very basic. It's like a go to dressing. Very basic. Like, America. What's the best kind? I I like I like the vinaigrettes. I like a balsamic. Yeah. Balsamic. Yeah. Or Italian. Caesar. I love a Caesar salad with a with a with a squeeze of fresh lemon mm. and ground pepper. There you go. Mm. I like that too. Do you like order salads with your food? How if it comes that? with? Yeah. You know what salads bomb as fuck? That salad uh, at Nordstrom. No, well, I don't know. I don't. They probably have it, but it's the it's with the tomatoes and the mozzarella. Um, and the caprese. The caprese salad. Whatever it's called. Yeah. Caprese. Oh, caprese. Caprese. Oh, okay, so it's not caprese. Caprese. It's caprese. It's a caprese salad. I think it's a caprese salad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it's like bomb. it's like the mozzarella, mm-hmm. um, yeah. like a balsamic glaze, mm-hmm. and onion, tomatoes. not onion, tomato, then like um, cucumber too, right? Mm-hmm. It's like a um, ba- is it basil? Yeah. Oh. It's like a leaf mm-hmm. with it. That's Nordstrom has the best salad you ever have in your motherfucking life. Really? Yes, I swear to God. And I know we go to places and order salads. So I think it's a waste of money. Yeah, yeah. But it's at the Nordstrom Cafe. It's the cilantro. It's a cilantro shrimp salad. And you get the shrimp blackened. It is so good. Oh, my Nordstrom God. Nordstrom has some good it's food. It's really like good. Low-key. It's really good in that fucking cafe. And I got yeah. drunk one time there, too. Because oh, that, that, that is sangria. I ordered the sangria, and it was strong. <laughs> And I was eating the fruit out of it, and I looked like trash. So I knew I had to go. No one wants to be in Nordstrom Cafe Looking eating the, like trash. like digging the food, the fruit out of your glass <laughs> to eat it. Oh jeez! But I was doing it's that. A drunk mess inside of a store. <laughs> That's hilarious as fuck. But it's so good. That salad is so good. I had uh, what did I have when I was at? I think they had like pizza. They had pizza, yeah. Yeah, and I had that. Right. DeAndre like lives by their margarita pizza. Yeah. Mhm. I like a pizza is weird. 
pizza is really weird. We went to Mod Pizza uh, last weekend. And that was the first time I've been there. And that's like a subway style. Yeah, you can like build your own. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah, you can do whatever you want I love to your that. pizza. And like, they have one of those in Lakewood, kind of. It's called yeah. Pizza Studio. And you and you build your own. Yeah? Where's that? It's right, by my, right across you from Five Guys. Or not right, right, right across you from the Panera. Oh. oh. It's in that, right across you from that uh, Mexican place, La Palma. So yeah. it's by GameStop and It's Five right Guys. next to GameStop yeah. and Five Guys. Okay. Five Guys. Underrated. I'll tell you that. Would you, when you were in a, did we, did we, did we podcast since nah, you've been nah, back? Uh-uh. Tell us about your good ass time in Palm Springs. <laughs> I had a good time. Me and my, so we got there in like an interval. So I got there, me and my friend, um, Elise got there first, we landed in LA. Mm-hmm. Um, we got the car, we drove down from LA to Palm Springs, which I guess it's supposed to be like a three, three and a half hour drive, but we made really good time. I think we got there like two hours or something. Yeah, I was excited. We were. Um, we went straight to the In N Out Burger, which Overrated. I think I think people have their different views Overrated of In N Out. I love it. <laughs> um their fries are very they're not, not the shit. Exactly. I mean they're they're the fries aren't good. But did you the do like the wild good. whatever fries? I did yeah, I got the um What is it? Wild style? Dirty dirt something style. Pig Wild style. Pig not piggy style. What is it? Um <laughs> God, animal style. Animal style. Animal yeah. style fries. Um, but it's like, even that is like weird. Because it's like Thousand Island dressing, mm-hmm. something along that lines. The Caramelized cheese? onion. The cheese is that um, Kraft Singles cheese that you get. <laughs> that's like Disrespect. your your wick foods. You know, like mm-hmm. that, like the basic cheese. The grilled cheese that's sandwich what, cheese. Yeah, that's what I think it is. It would be better if it was like real cheddar, I yeah. think. Or like they just like... Shredded it? Yeah. Shredded cheese on fries. But it was good. I loved it. Oh, I loved it. We didn't go back. I wish we did. We went back before we left. But, you know, we got to the house. The house was really nice. Mm-hmm. Um, we set everything up. So How many then bedrooms was it? It was one, two, three, four. Four bedrooms. Four bedrooms. One of the bedrooms was huge. It had two queens in there, so it, and it could still fit people. Yeah. Me and Chris's room had two twins, so I got a twin, he got a twin, and then it was just a big. It was like a good sized house. That's tight. And the um the pool was nice, although we did run into some issues because you had to like, the pool wasn't controlled by the house. It was controlled by like Wi Fi that the Wi Fi Wi Fi that the host, the person who was like renting it out yeah he they had on their phone so we had to like continuously be in contact with them like oh can you make the hot tub come on or can you turn the the jet on very annoying i think they talked about that in the um like the write-up the review yeah yeah. that they gave but other than that it was really good they should have gave you like the app or whatever that's what we said because you you literally had to be like turn it on or because we first got there the water was freezing cold like they didn't even cold. War, pre-warm it for That's what you would think. Like, yeah. they would, like, already have you it kind of warm. They knew you were coming. But, I mean, whatever. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I got hammered the last night. Shit can wasted. I couldn't even leave the <laughs> house. I was so embarrassed. I woke up. Yeah, because I saw this snap, so I was like, Tadon's not there. I was, <laughs> I was trying to make myself throw up, which yeah. is always terrible to do. Mm-hmm. But I did throw up, but it wasn't enough, so I, like, sat out. I woke up at, like, whatever o'clock in the morning. I felt like I had a shit, so I (laughs) sat on the bath. I sat on the (laughs) toilet to, like, do my business, and I didn't, because then I had to throw up instantly. So, like, I threw my... I didn't have time to put my pants back on. (laughs) I, like, literally threw myself into, like, on the edge of the tub and started throwing up. So my bare ass is out. I'm throwing up. It was just a disaster mess. You threw up in the tub? Yeah. Did you throw food in in the tub? Yes, I threw up, girl. So how did you clean that up? Um, I turned the the tub on and was shoveling it down (laughs) the drain with my bare hands. Oh, God. That's what level I was at. Uh Uh-huh. And I was just like, this is just a disaster. Why did you throw up in the toilet? Because you were trying to shit in the toilet, too? I didn't... No, yeah. So I should use the bathroom. (laughs) And then I didn't have time to turn around. I knew... I felt like it was coming. And I said, shit. <laughs> it's like, oh. Yeah. It was terrible. It is terrible. I remember, it was like that when, uh, it was senior year, and we got that damn house. 
Oh, don't remind me. That was the worst time of my life. The house that everyone was supposed to be driving to Bremerton to? Me me and a couple of the guys, we like rented this damn house out of Bremerton. And for some reason, we didn't check it out before we got there. Like, we thought it was just going to be on land. No neighbors, no nothing. Yeah, it was in like the middle of a fucking neighborhood. It was on the corner. Yeah, like all these. Did you end up making it there? (laughs) I got the text message. Oh, you know who came? No. No, because Mary was supposed to follow me. But everyone was like taking so long, so Mary and her date went to McDonald's to get something quick to eat. And then everyone started going, and then I said, Mary, everyone's leaving, girl. And she said, Well, wait for me, wait for me, we're still in the line at McDonald's. So then I did it, I I, I drove there, I left, and then Mary was texting me the whole time. Where are you? Where is yeah, everyone? Yeah, so like, we crossed the bridge and everything, and I don't know if I got a call from you or who it was, but they were just like, 07 pretty much took over the house, and like, the party's basically shut down. The power wasn't even the on power The power wasn't house, on yeah. at the house. Whatever the, fucking happened. Literally like, uh, not, I don't I want to say 100, but I don't think it was 100, it was a lot of fucking That's people because... There. The old, the, so we graduated senior year, obviously. The people who graduated before 07 us, took over 07, the found place. out. Oh, is that what you said, 07? Yes. Yeah. I thought you said, um, I think my 07, I thought that was a cop term. <laughs> <laughs> so. No. <laughs> no. Like 5 up. But anyway, um, but no, yeah, they all took over. So all those people who yeah, literally didn't have... go to college or weren't doing a thing with their life thought, oh, let me crash the senior yeah, party. Let us yeah. crash this the so still in high school party. Yeah. And yes. You're probably so happy that we did it because I know you. You're probably like, ha, 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 that's what they get. They Pretty left much. me. <laughs> but then I was pissed off because we literally, like, we drove and we, like, passed the toll and everything. We drove across the bridge. And next thing you know, I get an alert that, like, nope, turn the fuck around because this shit got shut that down. Shit was well, girl, I got fun. there. I was actually there. Yeah. I would have rather have gotten there and would have been told that you need to go instead of being told halfway there that we need to go. And then we had to drive all the way back to fucking Fredrickson to Julian's house. And it was like... Oh. I stayed out there. You did? Because I was with Lexi and her yeah. sister who was living in Bremerton at the time. Mm-hmm. So she, she called her and we went and got breakfast the next morning. Yeah, that shit was a mess. Uh, it was a disaster. But, like, we stayed, like, after all that shit went down, like, we stayed out there because we were like, fuck it, we rented the house for, like, a weekend. So we stayed there, like, the next day. Had, like, it was, like, four of us. I heard you guys had a little party or something. Yeah, we invited some, like, people over, and then it, it just got really shitty. Like, I didn't drink too much for some reason. I just wasn't feeling it. But the guys I was with, like, they drank a lot. And then, like, they had Wendy's. And for some reason, they were they were all throwing up the same oh, fucking throw up, and it so looked like chili and chicken sandwiches, and like they all were just yakking on the walls and shit <gasps> on the carpet. Did you and guys like, have to clean all that up? We tried very hard to clean I that feel shit so up. Bad for the people that own that house. Yeah, and like they like they they knew about it obviously, and they were like, oh, "We're gonna fucking find you guys." Da, 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 da. And we we're like, "Fuck, I don't know." It was in his mom's name, so we were like, we don't know what to do. I haven't heard shit about it since, but <laughs> that night was fucking oh silly as fuck. Oh, my God. I'm still so bitter about that. Yeah, I I'm mad about it, too. About it. It, like, it makes me come to the point where when I have kids and they're seniors, I'm just going to be like, fuck it. I'm going to rent you guys a house and make sure you guys do it better than I did. If shit pops off, call the cops, call me. It's all good. I want you to have fun because... You better oh, not rent that house because if, some, if, that, if someone dies there, that's on you. Fuck it. Pretty much. Oh, fuck it. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You, you only live once. Oh, I tell my kids not to go to your kids. No, they ain't going. It's okay. They'll have fun, sort of. <laughs> so, but yeah, that night was fucking just throwing up in general. It's, it's just terrible. terrible. I hate time. throwing up. Yeah. It's like embarrassing. And yeah. It's like, Even when you're by mm. yourself, you're like, fuck. It stinks. Oh, God. My stomach yeah. hurts. You feel better though. Feel I didn't like after. Better. I still felt like I had to throw yeah. up more. Really? And then I was I remember waking up in the morning, it was like seven o'clock, and I'd be like, Okay, at eight o'clock, make yourself throw up more. And then I'd go back to sleep, and then I'd wake up at seven thirty, be like, Okay, you have thirty more minutes, you can do it, you can do it. And I'd go back to sleep and it was like eight oh five, I'm like, I can't do it. I can't do it. Mm. Yeah. Did you feel but, better the next morning though? No, uh, I still feel like shit the next morning. That's crazy. Uh, you should. I didn't feel like. Did you drink water enough? Did you drink enough water that night? At all? No, I wasn't drinking water. Oh, the only thing clear why. I was drinking was vodka and gin. Let's see. That's why. I drank like a. I I we bought waters like big water bottles. People yeah. were like drinking water bottles, 
and I don't remember even finishing one water bottle. I don't remember, fin- like remember finishing a normal sized water yeah. bottle. I know whenever I drink and shit, I'll fuck up some water like prior to the partying happening, and then boom, I need to it's do time that. to go. Maybe that's what I need to start doing. Yeah, it's the ball I ball. was in party mode. All about hydration. Mm-hmm. So. Well, you're in Palm Springs, of course. Yeah, was that, that's what I was doing. Yeah, like, was like, it hot out there? It was hot. Uh, by, like, yeah. by like 10 in the morning, it was like 87 degrees. So jealous. Yeah. And it wasn't, because I guess now it's like the cooler weather. Yeah, yeah. So you can wear jeans. Like, I wore jeans when we left. I was in L.A. Mm. wearing jeans, and it was, like, eight in the 80s, and it still felt, it still, mm. I felt cool enough. It's just, it's crazy being <laughs> drunk and during the day in warm weather. Like, it's not, it doesn't hit you the same. I get like, exhausted. Um, yeah. Like, and, like, sometimes you just don't feel like shit's real. Mm-mm. I, I felt like that in Vegas. Yeah. We were like, getting drunk, day drinking in Vegas. I was just doing too much. I was in the hot tub drinking, out in the pool drinking, walking oh, right, right. around drinking. Did you guys like sightsee at all? No. Did you go on hikes, anything that like you guys planned? Oh, okay. I know that we wanted to do the tram, but we didn't. Why not? Because we were all drunk, too, too busy drinking. <laughs> <laughs> what's, so. what's the night scene like? Was the night scene cool? The night scene was fun. Yeah, yeah. it was like open. Everything had, was like open. Um, one bar was very, like it brought you back to 2008. It was very... Um, Lakes High School dance in the cafeteria. Oh. They were just playing like Lil John the East Side Boys, <laughs> and they had their little hype man with his do rag on in the corner, <laughs> going yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, the DJ was spinning stuff, yes, and the yes. girls were wearing their little like alley cat dresses, dancing with their coochie cooch showing. Oh God. Um, take me back to the early two thousand. It was just a lot. That sounds like a good time. It was fun. I need a vacation. I do want to go. Thing. Yeah. yeah. I do, well, I'll be in Vegas in March. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Who are you going with? I'm going for Alexis's oh. bachelorette party. Mm-hmm. That's I can't gonna wait be for so that. That's so much fun. Yeah. You're going to get messy again. Mm. I, uh, I can't. You're going yes, to. You I'm going to drink water this time around. Yeah, you need to. And then you won't feel so bad in the morning. Yeah. And I think Sonia's bringing IVs. Oh, good. She, she gets to practice on you. Yeah. Practice. She's a she's a nurse. She's a nurse. Stay sharp. That's what I mean. <laughs> yeah, but that's supposed to really help you. No, that's what I hear. Yeah. Like they give you IV and, and she, you like begged, you feel fine. When she first like started working at Saint Clair. She begged to stick me with an IV on my drunk nights. I'm like, you're not fucking sticking me with an IV. Practice on Ross. But now I regret it. Now I'm like, man. No, fuck that. I, I should have let her stick an IV in me in those moments where she asked. <laughs> well, I don't like people practicing on you. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and once they have it down, then yeah, you can do it all you want to. You're not missing all my veins. No, uh, uh, yeah. I think next year I want to try and travel more. I've been wanting to go to weird ass places like Juneau, Alaska. Yeah, you asked us if you wanted to go to Alaska, and yeah. we said no. Well, I'm gonna go. I don't know who I'm gonna go with, but I'm gonna go. What are you gonna do in Alaska? Hike, take and then pictures what? of shit, go on tours, drink hell of beer, cause that's where Alaskan Amber's from. Yeah. I don't drink beer. And then uh, it's really nice over there. Yeah, look at look look at the pictures. And then uh, well, was, Google Images are gonna show you the nice places. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> and then I was thinking, like, I asked my guys, I was like, would you guys be down to go to like Boston for like Fourth of July? Aspen. <laughs> Colorado, the skiing. You don't ski. Yeah, you don't do anything. You just want to look around the shops. Aspen's like really rich. She want to stand somewhere flat with skis on and take pictures. <laughs> no, um, I tried skiing and that didn't work out, so I'll snowboard. But you know how to snowboard? A little bit, yeah. Oh, really? Just not on like the big hills. Yeah, they'll have the bunny hills for sure. Yeah, I can do the bunny hills, but yeah. I'm too scared to do the big hills. But I just like the whole like being in a snowy environment. I love snow. And yeah. I hate like the cold weather, but. I like bundling up for it, though. Leavenworth was nice. It wasn't raining. It was just cold and snowy, which, like, it's okay. Yeah. But I like being in that whole, you know. Mm-hmm. Winter Wonderland. Winter Wonderland, yeah. Hot cocoa. I would, love to go to, I would love to go to Boston. Yeah. I was thinking about Boston. Um, I'm going to try and go to California in February. For? Kick it with uh, one of my friends out there. Oh, um, Curtis? We gotta stop name dropping. Okay, but, yeah. but it's not. We're not talking Curti- about Curtis. Curtis lives out there. You know, yeah, fuck it. We're gonna do that. We can do that. Curtis yeah. lives out there, so I was like, I'm gonna try and visit. Cause my goal now, 
that I'm working and shit. Like, I want to visit my friends that live in different places, man. Yeah. Right. That's cool. um, why I, I, I should, I should, because my friend, well, y'all, y'all know Chanel. She lives in Philadelphia, so. Yeah. Philadelphia is tight. Why don't you go and visit her? Yeah. I don't know why. I need to. Yeah, like, when I go out to visit my dad, I'm going to try and drive and visit Josh. That's like a four-hour drive, which is nothing. And I've never wow. been to, um. That sounds long to me. I've never been to Indianapolis before, so. What state is that in? Indiana. Trump, oh. Trump supporters. Oh, fun! Have fun. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, yeah, Jimmy Speak. John's. Uh, they're Trump supporters. Speaking of Trump supporters, mm-hmm. there you go. And I didn't know Jimmy John's was Trump support, supporter. Mm-hmm. Oh, interesting. <laughs> what is my but, screen on? Why is your screen on? Anyway, speaking huh. of Trump, did um you guys hear about the whole Kanye West? If he would have voted, he would have voted for Trump, and like. Kanye West is a fucking nutcase. Well, I, mean, I don't understand he why he canceled his shows and now he's in, in the hospital. Supposedly. I don't understand why he told us that. He said, "If I would have voted, well, you didn't vote, he's so a next." <laughs> he's a narcissist. Exactly. I think he's just so he's so deep in his head now. He just doesn't fucking know. I don't think he, he is in his own world. Yeah, he much. doesn't understand. He's too far in his own imagination. Like to be honest, the the what is it? The Yeezy season, his clothing, it's cool. Right, but it's, it's overpriced. It's overpriced as fuck for what it is. Yeah, it's just a plain t-shirt. Plain t-shirt. And like destroyed. I'm sorry. Destroyed, destroyed clothes. Plain t-shirt. Yeah, like, you're pretty much paying for the name. Yeah, yeah, you are. Like, yeah. is the quality of the stuff good? I don't know. I, don't, I mean, I haven't seen any of it yeah. in my life. I don't think he remembers what it was like to like struggle or be a regular person. So, like you guys said, he's living in his own world of like designer and like hanging out with like the rich people and like yeah. the upper upper class and that's like all he knows now like i'd rather wear a silk versace shirt than yeezy sweaters mm. i think like i don't even think i wear a s- I don't think anything. I'd rather, I'd rather I'm not wearing anything so because I sweat. <laughs> and I, I can definitely <laughs> see you wearing a, something I'm, so. I'm fucking up wearing that. I'm with like not. circular glasses. No, yeah, with the top, with the top half, like. Oh God! With my chest out. <laughs> no, I'd rather be in the in the easy sweat in the easy thing. I wouldn't mess around though, but like I don't know. It's just like I feel like he's not taking time anymore. He's not crafting his shit anymore he's just putting stuff out well i don't know because i feel like like the life of pablo was well crafted nah no i loved it and and compared to my beautiful dark twisted fantasy well every that album scared me a little bit it was a little creepy that's that was when he started transitioning yeah and i couldn't listen to that album because it got a little rocky for me yeah yeah. but i scare you because he just talked about like he like referenced the devil like, like in every sing, song yeah it was fucking I remember weird. you and I talked about that and I, you were like I'm gonna destroy that fucking album yeah. did you end up destroying it I bought I bought it the first time and I threw it away yeah I remember that after I bought that it because that was when, we, when you were living Why in the east away? coast no I, came, I, was, I was back and I had back? my uh, you lived in the east coast yeah for a little bit for like a year Oh. I had the I had a fucking Chrysler LeBaron and I came back here that blue car with the grandma seats and this nigga said in the intro of his song he was like, no, 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 I saw the devil in the Christ of LeBaron. And I was like, I'll drive this car. This shit is creepy as fuck. Oh, so really? Yes. Yeah, so oh. after I heard that shit, I took the CD out, threw that, that motherfucker away. I was I like, this shit is that. weird. That's when he, like, you're right. He was, like, in the midst of a transition. And yeah. I was like, I can't fuck with Kanye. No. But, like, now that I'm Very older dumb. and, like, I understand, like, that the album's called My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy. So I think he was going to try and push the envelope and just... He just pushed it get right. things because he got everyone thinking like yeah. this guy is crazy. Mm-hmm. And what is it, Saint 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 Satanism? Saint, like Satan, you worship Satan? Whatever. Mm-hmm. What? I don't know. Like he the was, Illuminati. Whatever. It is. I don't know. Nothing. That shit was just that album. It was, like after listening to it now, it was a good album. Like that was when Nicki Minaj was on the scene. Yes. Her oh, verse, monster. Her monster. Even verse still, was, people talk about that. that uh-huh. I love was it. was fucking classic. And then, I love it. Yeah. Because everyone else on that, everyone else's verses was so weird. Yeah, like Jay Z, Goblin, Goobla. What's yeah. a Goobla, Jay Z? <laughs> <laughs> like, his, play like, and then Rick Ross's verse was, like, really short. It was Kanye really, really short. Yeah. Kind of didn't really say anything. Jay Z's verse was, like, a fairy tale. It's fucking weird. But then Nicki Minaj at the end just fucking uh-huh. goes. I heard yeah. that he wasn't even gonna, yeah. he didn't even want 
that song on the album because yeah. he knew that people were going to talk about Nikki. Nikki's part. Really? Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. why he said Nikki's part over hey, that, no that his yeah. that that verse would take over the whole album. Yeah. People would talk about her verse over the whole album. That verse is crazy. I still listen to that. I will play that song and fast forward to her vo- mm-hmm. her verse and play it over and over again. Right. Well, that, well, that part, that lamp, she goes, my money's so tall and my bobby's got to climb it. I was like, oh. I love that. Art. I want to do at karaoke. Yeah, I wonder when they're gonna have it at karaoke. They don't have it at all karaoke. No, I didn't know about. There's a karaoke spot that I was at. No, I wasn't there. But this boy <laughs> told me that he Is was it West there. Seattle? No, it was in on Capitol Hill, yeah. and they did um they did a schoolboy Q song. Really? So, For yeah, karaoke? on karaoke. Oh shit! So yeah, I think I bet you. I bet you this. Hella spots in Seattle that'll do it because those are like the popular karaoke spots. I think some. I think you have. Someone told me that you have to pay to get the song. Really? I don't know about that. I don't know if that's no, true. That though. sounds crazy. That yeah, because sounds... fucking E nine. I got shit from the nineties still. Yeah, I love that though. Take yeah. me back. But then, like, we're gonna get really. We're older now. It's like we don't. We really have to like know the song. Is there gonna be karaoke at E nine? If you get there early, like at five. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, sure. I did it last year. I think I did it one year, but I don't remember. If I don't think it was for. It, it wasn't. Mm-hmm. It wasn't. It Girl, be. you ain't doing no karaoke at Friendsgiving. What are you doing? You I did there? karaoke one night at E nine. You gonna be out there We're, singing? Like, was it all these people there? Though? Yeah, because Wash did it too. Wash did do it. He yeah. did. He sung some old school shit. Yeah, too. he did. I don't think it was. For Friendsgiving, I think though. It was Friendsgiving. You Manny, were there. Because Manny was there. It was oh. for Sonia and LJ. Oh, yeah, it was. Was Sonya it? And LJ. it? When was. they got back. When they, when they came back. back. Yeah. Oh. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. It wasn't for um, Friendsgiving. Friendsgiving. You can sign like, the holiday greeter on the mic. Just <laughs> singing, and everyone's just moseying around like the Walmart <laughs> greeter. <laughs> That's fine. I'm totally okay with I'm that. Like, I'm excited for Friendsgiving. Me, too. Even though I might not. I don't know if I'm gonna make it because I'm. Go- I might oh. go see this movie. Wait, like to, really to the, friend, the 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 food part of Friendsgiving or the, the bar part? The bar part. I don't know if I'm. You only need to go to the bar part. I don't think I'm that gonna get so to this. Because I might go with my friend Elise, and we might go to see you? this movie. Um, we're gonna see this movie called Loving. <gasps> Is that out already? It's playing at the Grand. Oh, it's only it's only playing, playing it's only playing playing for um Wednesday and Thursday. Are you serious? Yeah, it's only playing for those two days. That's weird. Oh. The interracial, right? Yes, yes. yes. I saw the people. Uh huh. I saw it too, and I started crying. So did I. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, and I saw. Only for two days. It's about the first interracial couple to get married. Oh. Yeah. So it's like the white guy, oh black God, girl, it's and it's good. So it's so it's very good. It. And I want to see it so bad. It's only playing for the grand for two days. It has to. Get, it's not playing no. at Ruston. No, it's not getting a wide release. It's one of those like independent films. No, but I films. thought it was getting an extended it's not... release. I saw the, <laughs> I saw the preview the other day. It might have said selected the theaters. There's another movie like that that I want to see called Get Out by uh, what's his name? Oh wait, what? What? I think it might be playing other times. Oh my god, yay! It's playing other times. I just checked. Oh shit! Uh-huh. So oh god, text Rich. Elise and so, what? <laughs> so you guys are coming on Wednesday? Yeah. Oh my god, when are you guys gonna see it? I wanna go. Well, no, because DeAndre said he wants to see it, so I wanna see it with DeAndre. Y'all can see it together. No, it's saying a double date. It's saying a double oh, date. Oh, oh shit. Anyways, there's a movie called Get Out by Jordan Peele, the comedian. Oh, it's, oh, it's about. Um, and it's like a scary. It's interracial, like a scary but like the guy, it's like white girl, black guy, mm-hmm. they go to visit her parents. Yeah, she like and hypnotizes like, black I saw people. That too. And the yeah. mom, like, there's a heck of a hypnotist. Yeah. It's like, like to forget us to forget our like our culture or to become well, white. Well, she hypnotizes black people that stumble into the. Uh, town I didn't know and it was like, a hypnotize. Like I just yeah. thought that they were just racist. No, uh-huh. the, like she hypnotizes them and then like makes them forget everything, and she like they basically like kidnap them and make them a part of their community. So did the daughter? Did does the daughter understand that? Because I thought the, the, the daughter doesn't know. know. Like she the doesn't daughter know. didn't know. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna I'm that's gonna be a movie I have to see. That sounds a little scary. I don't know if I. It is. It it sounds like a thriller. It yeah. sounds and it sounds scary and weird. Yeah, I like movies like that. You want to see it on Sunday? I gotta find. It. Can somebody check when that movie comes out? No. Get out. No. To Darwin, please, sir. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I will. Yeah, cause you're nice. Um, <laughs> uh, what else, man? February twenty fourth, twenty seventeen. Damn, that's a long time. 
a lot of things are coming up next year. Yeah. A lot of new albums are coming out next year. I can't Star wait. Star Wars movies coming out. I don't know that comes out in December. About... Does it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> what? I don't know how I feel about that movie because has is I have no. It's like pre Star Wars, I think. It doesn't mm, have really no. much relation, isn't it? No, it's not pre Star Wars. From what I thought. Or if it's going on while Star Wars is going yeah, on. Yeah, like too. during the shit that's happening that happened in the last episode that just came out, mm-hmm. it's like a side story, a part of that. Oh. So it's like another another group of people that so are it, fucking shit up. The daughter's in it, right? The daughter? No. R- Ray is she not no, in it? No, she's not oh. in it. Yeah, you don't even know whose daughter that is yet. Oh, they're thinking, um They don't think it's Luke Skywalker's daughter. They think she's uh The princess's daughter. Someone's daughter. I can't remember. Yeah, it's too hard. There's too many characters. But Childish Gambino's gonna be in the next one. I can't wait That's for just that. Gonna be tight. His album is gonna be I fucking fire. Um, second, I believe. It's uh, it's something. I already got this shit on my Apple Music. Don't even have none of the songs. I put it on Two. my. You know what I'm saying? All like I put the album on there without even the songs. Oh, yeah. I kind of listened to that one, Redbone. I wasn't really that into. Really? You're not really into stuff like that though. Yeah, I love. What does it. that mean? Like, <laughs> it was like really like urban music mm-hmm. old school kind of shit made me think of like prince slash marvin gayish I, w- I gotta listen yeah. again because i wasn't i wasn't really into, into it, it. Yeah. but I can't that wait. song that i sent you guys this morning oh sorry I did I remember you? you can't wait for what i can't wait for the weekend's the album to come oh, out yeah. i love all the songs that you I'm know he's coming to the key arena i want to see him i have to see him this sh- i have to see him I might get to he cut his, his hair. Thank God. Thank God yeah. he needed to get rid of that. Oh, no, how heavy that stuff. shit was. <laughs> oh, he has a song called Me and Your Mama. Yeah, that, I, like, I like that one more than Redbone. I gotta listen to the other ones. Like, yeah. Is everyone doing this now? I feel like everyone's, I don't know. With their face as the cover? Well, that's like that's African. not his face. No, is everyone like, doing like... um? It's like African art. I'm just trying to figure out the right wording I want to use. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I gotta, I, I gotta waiting. come back to it. I gotta okay. come back to it. Okay. Like more, Af- not more African, but just like more. African. I get like what Solange did with her album. How it's just more. Um, when I get, I guess pro black. Ah, yeah. yeah. Is, do you think this is gonna nah, be more like that nah, now? Nah, oh, okay. Nah. Childish Gambino is not like that. I don't <laughs> think so. At least, he's like he's aware of it, yeah. but he doesn't. I don't think he makes music like that. He makes music more towards like everything overall, oh. like um, going on around. Yeah, like because the internet, he had a few songs talking about uh, the song "World Star," which is basically talking about how I we have to videotape song. everything and shit like that. But like the beat was really hard. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, I still um, listen to the album like it's relevant. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. and then my other favorite, my favorite, one of my favorite bands ever next year, the XX. I love them. Who are they? The um. They're like a little. They're like indie, I would say. Yeah. yeah. Um, not indie. Sorry, alternative. alternative. They're alternative, and their songs to me, at least their the whole last album sounds like you're just driving in your car on a nice crisp fall day, and like the leaves are falling, and like you're kind of like in your feelings, but you're not. <laughs> but it's like good. It's like a good music. I could, I'll send it to you guys, and then and okay. I love it. Oh, I love. I liked that song that I sent you guys this morning. Although it was, it was playing my, out there. It was playing my Uber car. I thought it was um I thought it was I Chance it the Rapper who was singing it. You know, I really don't like how you don't listen to any of the links I sent you and this one is like this one. And you the expect us and you expect us to listen to the ones that you that you send us. Well because sometimes it just takes too many steps. Okay, this you was push, a You push the link. I know, this one was legit, legit, And it does everything play. itself. I'll do it this time. <laughs> Supposedly, this guy performed this on the late night show last week. I have no, I have no idea. I don't send music to the group anymore because y'all would be like, I "Oh, we heard that. Oh, we heard that two months ago, or <laughs> um, or something like that." So I just sit back. Becky with the uh, Becky with no hair just sits back. <laughs> lets everyone else <laughs> send music. Mm-hmm. What's cool. crazy? I still haven't listened to Lemonade because it's just not on Apple Music. That's why I and I've been blowing her. And actually, funny you just say that. I've been blowing her up on Instagram. Oh, I commented yeah. on a couple of her photos <laughs> and I said, "Where are you gonna put it on Apple Music?" Seriously, and I then I got on Facebook because they oh. said that um, this website that I follow on Facebook said that um, what all night is gonna be her new out 
her new single yeah. off the album. And I said, well, what she needs to do is to put that whole album on Apple Music. Mm. So when is she going to do that? That's what I said. <laughs> probably, is it yeah. on iTunes? It's on iTunes. You can, you buy, can it. buy it for $17. But it needs to be... Because I don't want to re-up my title subscription just to listen to the one Beyonce album. I yeah. had to do that once. I did it for this one. I just don't like... Uh, I don't like the the rivalry because it's like there's Prince music on Tidal and I like Prince and I'm like oh shit I got Apple Music now because all this Prince shit you can't ain't no Prince music there's on like there. no Aaliyah on no Apple. there's no there's no is Aaliyah. it on Tidal at least I don't know because mm. I I canceled my Tidal subscription so I can go back and look but it's not absolutely nothing and speaking of Tidal fucking Jay Z I don't think anyone has rights to Aaliyah music though her family does I think yeah, they're, they're just I saying mean, like, like nah they, like. They haven't sold the rights to where. Yeah, I don't think they ever anyone will. Anyone can put it because I know Drake had a problem because he wanted to mm-hmm. do like a whole Leah album, yeah. pretty much. But um, they, he couldn't. And there's been covers and shit, but not like official covers. No. But um, I don't know if they were to ever sell it, I'd give that shit to Missy Elliott and Timberland. I uh-huh. thought that was gonna happen because mm-hmm. wasn't Drake going to work with Timberland on the album? I don't, know. I don't know. That was a few years ago. I saw it on Hot New Hip Hop, and it was just this yeah. really large. But uh, that they're saying Prince's estate was like trying to sue Tidal because, like, they were like unrightfully using his music after he died. So I bet you there's. So like, did they lose rights after he died? Because he was at that whole that little weird meeting. Ill- Illuminati commercial they had yeah. going on. Yeah. So I bet you after he died, he was like, "All right, y'all can't play my shit no more." Like as part of the contract. Probably. That sounds like something Prince would do. It's so political, like the way that I don't just... even know any Prince music. I mean, really, he has a lot. So I won't like it's so purple. there's a lot. So oh, purple yeah. rain is like well yeah. done. Yeah. I know, I know, I know, I know, why do we scream yeah. at each other? So 1999. The main ones you want to do the purple rain. Wait, oh, we're gonna party like it's night. Okay, that's mm-hmm. him. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, my well, favorite is Sign of the Times. Sing it. And then what's the album? Oh. And then uh, he's on the. I have two vinyls of that shit. My mom gave them to me. And they then, were hers? Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. And then, yeah, Purple Rain was cool. My favorite song of all time from him was Erotic City, the radio cut. Not the radio cut, but the unedited version, which is like, I think it's like eight minutes long. And you know, back then they did a lot of like six jamming. Minute, eight yeah. minute songs. And they was just fucking jam. Like, literally, he, he was on like a keyboard and like, the beat was just like it was just like so different and it was like the first song I can even remember listening to as a kid because it used to come on the radio mm-hmm. and then uh, it had like a huge controversial situation because there's a part of the song that uh, the chick was saying we can funk into the dawn and then on the radio they're like this ain't fuck but they weren't they but so, funk yeah so he was able to get that passed through to get played on the radio still but it was really suspect because it didn't sound like he was saying funk, but whatever. I haven't. I didn't have any emotion when he died. I didn't have any emotion when any of these celebrities, like Michael, him, Aaliyah. I cried when Aaliyah died. Oh, I could see really? that. I uh, could yeah. see that. How old were we? Young. We were like. But Mary's an old history. soul. Yeah. <laughs> Mary's an old black <laughs> woman in a, like in a Filipino girl's body. Two thousand one or something. Oh, we were hella young. So you look like really we young. Two thousand one. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> I remember turning on the TV. And it was on the news, and I started crying. Wow. We showed the plane and everything. Yeah, her plane got fucked up. Yeah. Yeah. She has But then music. my mom, like, my mom was just, she was just trying to be real and rude. And she was like, they probably weren't even allowed to have all those people on that plane anyway. Was it, like, too heavy or something? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it was too heavy? They had, there was just two people that, on the plane. Oh, I thought the, the pilot didn't have enough um, hours or, like, enough. No expertise to fly the plane. I heard the shit was just it too was, heavy. Yeah, like it was. Oh, I don't know that could happen. It would over over capacity, and they tried mm-hmm. telling. From my understanding, from what I read, they tried telling them that like you can't like too many or whatever. You guys can't fit every anyone or all this luggage on this plane or whatnot. And they were like, no, like we want to go home because they left early. Mm-hmm. They weren't supposed to leave that early. But why didn't they just take another plane? Cheap. Why didn't they take two planes? It was for the Rock the Vote video, right? Yeah. Was, was cheap, the being cheap will kill you. That is the moral of that story. Mm. Take another yeah. plane. Take two planes. Take two planes. They're on a small little... Like, or fly your ass coach. Yeah, and then it looked like there was a lot of people at, for that video. And they all died. Not all of them. It was just like for 
like the people that were with her spoke really with her. Do you think all the dancers died from the video? No. Mm-hmm. She made her dancers fight coach, which was smart. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can't believe I'm laughing about this. <laughs> it's so wrong. Anyways, how do we get on the music subject? And we're talking about Kanye. This conversation. That's how it's supposed to go. That's how it flows. Well, but anyways, flows. Kanye, back to him. <laughs> What do you guys think of him? He's canceled his, his whole tour. Uh, you don't care, many, as long as you saw it. Oh, yeah, you don't I, care. Well, how, many, how, many, how many cities was he going to? Was he like Until the end done? of December. Oh, shit. Because he had to push back the the shows that he canceled after, after Kim's after thing. Kim. That was mm-hmm. the end of December. I, I'm thankful that I finally saw, like, I actually saw him, but I feel bad for the people who haven't seen him. I feel I bad for feel, Sacramento. Yeah, like, he's left always, after 10 minutes or some oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're they only not paid get their money back. You no, know, they are, I think. Oh, they are? I hope so. They think so. Mm-hmm. Well, did they, is that the show that you brought um, Cuddy Kim, out? Yeah, yeah. Kim, or Kim Cuddy. Kid Cuddy, yeah. Yeah. And that was he was only there for 30 minutes. Time out. I thought Cuddy was in rehab. I thought they had beef. Exactly. There's all, so much mess. So, it's a drama. It's a necessary mess. Oh. Uh, yeah, like that. I don't know. He came on stage and they hugged and shit. I still thought he was in rehab. Yeah. Like, are you allowed no, to No, he went to, like um, no, he, he, uh, he appeared at Com- Complex Con. Complex Magazine had, like, a big, like, festival going down. He, like, yeah, appeared with Travis. Yeah, but, day passes. Me? Day passes. But then how does that help your recovery? <laughs> Maybe he's already recovered and he just wanted to surprise everybody. Maybe he ain't sick at all. And it's just a ploy. It's like an excuse, album. or an excuse to why he hasn't had music. Yeah. No, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Those guys are just fucking weird. That's all I know. I knew Kid Cudi was weird ever since Day and Night came out. Yep. Man, oh, I, I love that song. That was a very depressing was a good, um, It was a good album, though. Time for me. And he, he was just throwing out depressed music left and right. Mm-hmm. I think I had, did I send you guys, like, I had a post where I was like, damn, like, Kid Cudi is depressed from um, on this day. Like, I posted I something on Facebook. I think that sounds kind of familiar. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, wow, I called it. So like, yeah. It's a fucking rehab for depression. But I didn't know. I was just shocked that he brought Cuddy up because I thought you can't leave. You, you just can't leave. No, I think he's already done with free hand because he went to that complex thing. Interesting. With Travis Scott. You would think that calling Drake a pussy or whatever he called him would, you know, push back his recovery. Drake's not fucking around. He's going hard. On who? Just in general. Music-wise, like, I don't know. He's a hard-working dude. Kinda. You saw that commercial, you guys? With Taylor, with, yeah, Taylor Taylor so yeah, it was kind of hilarious. Yeah. But like, it's crazy because like he has got this fucking rap beef with Meek Mill and Joe beef with all these people and shit. But it's like what hip hop was back in the day. Like you couldn't have fun with that type of shit. Like he's still he's having fun. With he's him. having fun like doing like doing fucking SNL shows yeah. and shit. And well, like, I thought he had beef with um, Diddy at one point, but he was seen recently at a party with Diddy and French yeah. Montana. Yeah, exactly. So I'm like, are these really beefs or it's just like, let's I go like one those on like one on the tour. Shit. Why would someone have beef with Diddy? He hasn't done anything in years. Exactly. It's like 50 Cent. Yeah. But, you know, I think Views wasn't that good. Yeah. No, it was not. It was yeah. terrible. I think it was yeah. overhyped. It was terrible. He talked it about it for years. Overhyped. I think it was like um, five good songs, mm-hmm. five out of 20. Yep. Because it's about how many songs are on there? Like 17? There's a lot of songs on there. Yeah. yeah. And then not all of like, them are good. I, 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 tweeted, I tweeted, Future's verse on Grammy Family is better than the whole album. And he doesn't even say shit. I can't but it's just, it's just so catchy. Songs. <laughs> mm, like, his, he makes really good gym music. And, like, yeah, shit that'll hype you up. Where your ass was at when no, was the city. Oh. I was just playing that in my head. Mm hmm. Like I said, I don't under, understand a word he says. You don't need to. Time. You just got to feel it. Mm-hmm. Music is a yeah. feeling. If Young Metro don't touch <laughs> you, he going to shoot you. Who is that? Young Metro? Yeah. Yeah, that's that. One of the greatest producers alive that's right now. That's what they say in the songs that he produces. Mm-hmm. He tags them. So, yeah. Uh, he's... I first heard of him... I first heard <laughs> of like him on uh, the Travis Scott mixtape. Uh, uh, days Metro? before, yeah, days before rodeo, he did a bunch of beats on there, and I was like, this shit is tight. And then I like started looking him up, and he started doing a lot of shit with Future, and I was like, wow, this shit is amazing. Young Metro, huh? mm-hmm. he's a producer. Yeah, I gotta get in the producing game. <laughs> I guess that's where the money's at. Yeah.
And like you like it was crazy. It's way more technical than just making beats. Like I feel like Swiss Beats was the only producer that just made beats and like here you go. But then like there's other guys that they make the beats, but then like they know where to put certain things, like where the vocals should be and shit like that, and like the chorus should be here. No, you should start your verse at this point in the song. Oh. And shit like that. So it depends. You can be a producer, but it's it's way more than what people make it sound uh sound like. I don't know. Thanksgiving is around the corner, guys. <laughs> I gotta go. I think I gotta go to two places. Lucky you. I don't even want to go to the one place I'm going to. <laughs> I'm making mashed potatoes, <laughs> gravy, and rice to bring to my mom. Rice? Yeah, what kind of rice? rice? Just brown rice. Your mom's not gonna make rice? Well, I told her I'll help out because she's like making... Um, at Thanksgiving lunch because my brother's not going to Thanksgiving dinner at my aunt's house because he works the next morning. Mm-hmm. So she's doing like roast, be- no, prime, she's doing prime rib, punset. Oh. Um, she's doing two Filipino desserts. Mm. And so I'm like, I'll help her out in some way. Speaking of your brother, retail. I really hate how they do retail employees during the holidays. He like can't take any kind of leave. Yeah, they November, can. December. He's working 10, 12 hour days. More money. Crazy. Yeah. No, because you don't get paid overtime. Salary. Oh, never mind then. This is crazy. Like, there's some places where, like, they're open on Thanksgiving Day and shit. And I'm like, that is not necessary. Yeah, thankfully, we're not open Thanksgiving Day, but he has to go into work at, like, 2.30 in the morning. Yeah. On Friday. For yeah. Black Friday. For Black Friday, yeah. yeah. I know REI is cool, because... I thought, was it you guys that said uh, REI was closed? Someone said, that. someone told I me. Did. You did? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How they're going to be closed for that day? Which Black is cool. Friday. Oh, yeah, yeah, the commercials. Like, we're going to be closed on this they day. Because we want our employees on... to get out, get really? outside. Yeah. I really honestly think they just want to focus on the online business, if anything. Oh, yeah. I mean, the on- and what's easy about online, you can leave that shit till Monday and just have, you know, start that on Monday, all the shipments and things. So. Yeah, it just makes sense to be employee forward for those type of things because it's just so demanding. Whose two places are you going to? Uh, my cousin's house and then another family member's house, I oh. think. So, oh. we'll see. I just, I'm I have an debating interesting family. whether I'm going to like shop online Friday or not. Are you, so, and you're, you're going to be with your mother? So, yes. So, I'm going to be with my mother for lunch, and then I'm going to be with my mother and my whole family for dinner. Nice. And then what about DeAndre? He will be joining us. Oh, he will? Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, is he going to meet your whole family? He's met them before. The okay. whole family? Mm-hmm. How was that? It was okay. Okay. Do you think tattoo parlors do Black Friday deals? No. no. And I would never want a Black Friday deal. You're going to half fast your tattoo. Okay. <laughs> what if I've been there before and I'm like a returning customer? You can ask like a joke, like, oh, y'all do Black Friday deals? <laughs> <laughs> like, I've literally, I've been falling. I've, did you guys see my text today about above, uh, above knee tattoos? I saw on the thigh. But, no. Well, no, it's like right no. here. So, boom, your knee's no, right here. And like, we'll tattoo like right here. Right above the knee. Oh, I my, saw that. Was my before. brother's friend has one like that he did on himself. That's right, like above the like literally yeah. he did it himself. But to me, that's kind of weird. I don't know. I like it. It's a weird placement because like is... what? Are, I mean, no one's gonna see it unless you're wearing like short shorts. I wear short shorts. Okay. I mean, if I go to the gym in short shorts if it's summertime, I'm wearing short shorts. No, like, you don't. I try. If I have a leg tattoo, I'm definitely wearing short <laughs> shorts. I got and my quads is coming in. Gotta show them lines off. What are you gonna get? Is it gonna be a word or a picture? It's gonna be a picture. When are you I sure get you it, know? I'll show you guys. Because oh, okay. I don't wanna explain it. Take too much time to explain. Don't wanna explain it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it big? It'll be like. So it's long that way? Yeah. It's is be... it the pyramids? Nope. You're not gonna ever guess what it is. I think I did. No. It's not you the had pyramids. a little smirk to your face. So, <laughs> I, want pyra- I want the pyramids on my arm. But this is gonna be great. Because, yeah. So, you, I've decided you are going to get a new tattoo. Yeah, I'm going to get a couple. Oh, okay. Because I think I want to get I wanna get tattoos every couple of months. Or maybe, like, every year or so. Until your whole body's tattooed? No, I just want to cover my torso. Like, not my torso, but, like, my chest, shoulders. And I want to get, like, half sleeves. And then just, like, I want to get the two leg tattoos. And I'll be done, I think. You're never going to be done. Yeah, I don't know. 
So, but it's fun. It's a good time. I just know the last tattoo I got is the one on my stomach. And the dude was resting his elbow on my nuts the whole time. And that shit was oh, terrible. Why didn't you tell the move? I don't, you just can't. I mean, maybe that's his, it's his, it's his spot uh-huh. where he's comfortable. Like, what if I'm having a move and he just, he's just not, he just can't draw as well as he thought he could with his elbow in the air. Huh. I don't know. I'm just a, I'm okay with stuff. It's weird. Uh, the U St. Laurent art exhibit has opened up in Seattle. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. Where? In at Seattle. The Science Center? No, no, no. No, at the art. Seattle Art Museum. Museum. Yep. Are you guys going? I don't know. Oh, I want to go. I didn't know. I didn't know. What is it? Well, is it the Y South. Is it closed? Yeah. Huh? Is it closed? Is it showing clothes? Or what are they showing? I don't know. You have to buy a ticket to see the shit. I oh think, my god, I want to go. Unless, it's a, unless you go on the free day, which I think is like every first Thursday. Oh my god, I want to go. I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's there. And like and any I'll other, even wear my YSLs. Any other day, I think it's like $25 per ticket. I want to go. Yeah. Like we, I tried to go, but then we were like, nah. I ain't Who's we? Book. Me and a few friends. Oh. I'm going to send this to Daryl and Claire. We tried to go, but we were like, we ain't going to pay for no shit like that. Not right now. At least we'll do it another time. When is, um, when is it till? Uh, I don't know. They haven't for a long website. time. Hold on. They haven't for a long ass time. I bet you until um, like February or something. I don't know what they're showing. Probably it's clothes. Probably clothes. Yeah, clothes, designs, all that stuff. Pictures, Pictures of his face. Yeah. Models and shit. I'm going to touch it. I know. I was going to say, I'm totally going to touch it. Um, Get tickets. Let's see. Who used to design for YSL? Didn't he used to design for somebody else? That's how he started, I believe. Who did he work for? I want to say like Gucci or some shit. Um, I'm trying I don't know. to find. DeAndre knows, but. Do you know how Gucci started? Uh uh-uh. uh. I think they made. Oh, fuck. He made like leather. Suit. January eighth. Oh, cool. Okay. Yeah. There's I mean, that's time. right around the corner, though. So it's like it's, it's like one of those things. If you like, if you sleep on it, you're gonna miss it. Yeah. You'll sleep right through it. Yeah. Well, I'm going. Yeah, I'm gonna try and check it out I too. These look like little moles in the bottom of your sh- No, socks. they're supposed to be like you know like the grips, grips, little yoga socks. Um, they're just like supposed to be fuzzy socks, but they're old fuzzy socks, so they're not as fuzzy. They're not anymore. fuzzy. They're not fuzzy but at all. They keep <laughs> they keep me warm still. Sure. <laughs> they came with like a pedicure set. Sure. Whatever. Fuck you guys. Anyways. What are you yawning for? Would you ever date a girl who had a foot fetish? Mm, nah. <laughs> like for guys' feet? No, for her girl. For yes, for guys' feet. Nope. Some girls like that. You want you you want to let a girl suck on your toes? Fuck no. I just can't handle that. <laughs> it's weird too. I have really nice feet. And Would you suck on girl a girl's toes? No. Nah. Why not? That's just weird. Not if your wife is just like, you know. Oh. <laughs> that shit is weird. Feet. Oh, you had it done. You like yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. I never said I liked it. Like. You didn't deny it, but I. <laughs> I just think of feet. Feet just get hot and like they just, they Obviously walk Obviously they'd stuff. have to be cleaned. Still kind of gross to me. But you, you'd let a woman lick your butthole. Oh my God. You know, you know, some, you know, sometimes <laughs> shit just happens. That's disgusting. That's worse. It's a different, it's a different so time. Worse. Oh my God, that was a jump. <laughs> <laughs> are we talking about this right now? We are. Are we bringing up our, iP- our iChat conversations? I didn't tell yeah. we were talking about that. Well, <laughs> sometimes, you know, in my younger days, in my heydays, shit went. Oh, was, please. If a woman asked if they could do that to They don't ask. Yeah, it, it, just, it just happens. No, it just, yeah. It literally just I know happens. girls who... Who have done that before, and they don't, you know, ask because that's weird. Yeah, you have I to lick like your butt. They, no. they said that you have to like almost ease the the guy into it because they, you know, obviously straight men don't want anything near their buttholes, so you have to like kind of like you go from sucking so you go from to sucking like, and then like you make your way down to the balls, and, like you're having fun there. But, as but then woman, you have to do it like daily. You have to go like you know like yeah, it you can't just go. Step, step, <laughs> step one, step two, step three, all the same day. So you have to like, work your way like, down. What there. is the pleasure in a woman doing that? It, it's there weird. Is, is it? It's, it's hard to even I don't think, think about. I don't think maybe they're. I don't know. It's hard. It's it's something you just can't explain. What it's is, like toe licking. But what is the pleasure about a girl giving a blowjob? There is none. But why is she, why is she doing it? 
Am I supposed to, is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> I mean, I, you know, it's like, I'm not getting any pleasure from putting this, in, from choking myself. <laughs> I'm not getting any pleasure from that. <laughs> and from you, I'd be like grabbing my head and going, here, 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 here. And I'm just like, and I'm like. They don't do that. <laughs> I just fucking water it. My skin, my skin running. I'm gonna throw up my dinner. I'm not having a good time. Don't do that. Guys don't do that. And if they do do that, some they're not. Some people more. do do that. Some motherfuckers are aggressive. Some people do do that. I, from what I've heard, some shit gets oh, kind of crazy. No, I will never let you do, do that to me. <laughs> that is hilarious. No. My skin but I think it's like I think I think the woman like finds pleasure in doing it for the man because. Their pleasure is seeing their man. No, pleasure. I, it's honestly it's about experimenting and like just some women are just way more open. Are we talking about still looking the butthole? <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> like, I was talking about sucking dick. Well, all that like, shit, all that oh, shit. Okay. Because the simple fact that it's a weird ass moment between you and one other person, maybe two if you're lucky, and shit just gets you just try whatever. Oh, like, no. You just try whatever. Sometimes you're just like fuck it. Nobody else is here. Just me and you. So fuck it. So uh, yeah, th- that's true. And, yeah, and I always things, get keep things interesting. I always get, but I, I, ugh, if I was the, if I was a girl, I don't know if I could ever do that because because uh, my big thing is in that type of I guess relation, in that type in like a boy girl relationship, the guy can always say the relationship is Never. over, whatever it ended badly or whatever. Mm-hmm. The guy can be a dick and be like. See the girl out and be like, oh, yeah, that's that bitch over there who ate my dirty asshole. <laughs> hey, nigga, she, yeah, she, she's kissing you right now. She licked my booty hole. <laughs> that, that is so embarrassing. <laughs> so I, I don't know if I could, like, oh, you did, oh I don't know, being yeah. the girl. I, don't, I said that just depends on the situation. That, yeah, that's for the other guy in the situation. Like that. That's me. It's too much. Oh, she really hated that person. Yeah. But. I don't know. That's do, that's doing too. Uh, yeah. yeah. Some people would do that. Yeah. I uh, okay. I just think that licking toads is cleaner than licking a booty hole. I mean, it depends. Depends. No, because people like toenails look yeah. weird and like yellow nails. Oh, that's why you have to assess. You know what it is. Yeah, you're exactly. Looking at before you do it. Yeah. But when you're in a sexual setting of licking someone's butthole, it's dark down there. It's like well, you can still smell. Yeah, and, you like, can smell oh, buttholes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Well, I hate to be like, oh. it's like, what, imagine if like she's going to do it or like the person's going to do it and you know they're going to do it and then they don't do it. It's like, like, they're, they're like oh, why didn't they do that? And then that clean up there or like, so now you're thinking like, oh, it's from no, my butthole. It <laughs> <laughs> Ew. That's so gross. Oh, man. <laughs> well, whatever. Life is crazy. And then what if like you're... Do you tell a person like, oh, I don't know if you should go down there. I'm not really like prepared, or like, oh, I don't know. You know, I just spent all night on the dance floor. It's a little sweaty. I just say no, like no, <laughs> like no, stop. Like uh-huh. no, not today. And if they want to continue, then all right, then that's, you're, the, that's yeah, your so prerogative. That, yeah. that's I told you no already. I tried warning you, but, but hey, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, and then like overall, you just have to assess the situation. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Like. Yeah. I don't know. It's a weird situation. Always is weird. Good times. I'm so good at filtering myself in these things now. <laughs> you just, oh, oh, do you have an idea? Do you have something to say? No. Well, no, not really. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. No. <laughs> Talking about licking booty holes and sucking toes. Anyways, what are y'all doing on the weekend? Saturday, Sunday. Uh, This coming weekend? You had like a five day weekend. No, because I I went to work today. No, I'm talking about, you don't work Friday? Oh, no, that's true, because I don't work Monday either. So I have, oh, God. (laughs) Shit, I'm about to be off work. I'm not going to know how to act when I go back to work next Tuesday. Because I have Thursday off, Friday off, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. Lucky. Oh great! Ooh, what can I, what can I do? Probably sit here in Tacoma. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
What are you guys doing this weekend? Saturday, I'm going to finally check out, hopefully if August is planned, finally check out Angela's shop with Jabelli and um, Jenny. Go there. When you go there, try on her glasses. Can you send you a picture? Yeah. Because the way it looks on me will totally look <laughs> Whoa. the same way on you. Have, uh, you said you're going with Jenny? Yeah. Have her try them on. Because she has... So are you saying... So she has a bigger face. <laughs> well, she has, she has a bigger head than the both of y'all. So I know add on maybe four more inches of head. That's my head. Okay, so... And then so I, it'll probably... It just makes I hope sense. Jenny doesn't listen to this because if, if I was her, I'd be a little offended. You're Anyways. saying that I have the same head as you. No, because she's like... She's well, y'all like, using names. She's like 5'6". Oh. She's like a full-size adult, so... And so we're not full-size adults no, of that. No, oh, Okay. Well, all right. But, uh... Yeah, because I wanted to get a pair of those glasses for my next like shoot. Like the nerdy glasses? Yeah. For that, the, like, see-through? Mm-hmm. For the next shoot I do with the hats. I just want to, like, see. It's so pretty. Her place is so pretty in pictures and stuff. Yeah. I want to finally check it out. Maybe buy some. Obviously, I'll buy something to support, but... Her store's cool. Yeah. yeah. So, do that. I have to work on Saturday, too. So, I'm, I volunteered to work on Friday and, and volunteered to help out a couple hours on Saturday, so... Shoot, I might as well go to work on Saturday. I got so much shit I gotta do. I need to shop though. I like I'm in All my right. mind I have what I'm gonna get DeAndre for Christmas. It's just a matter of getting it at the perfect I'll time. Gonna find it. And mm-hmm. hoping to get some get of the items on sale. Would you gonna get him a swishy sweatsuit? No, I'm not gonna do Is that what you wanted? Yeah. So I'm getting the, him uh, fanny pack. The Ultra see- Boost. Oh. He doesn't listen to oh, this. Okay. I'm getting him the Ultra Boost. I'm hoping to find an all black pair, but I have not come across those an all black pair. Those are so thick and weird. I think those they're ugly as hell. They're so comfortable. I tried on a pair of Nordstrom. I love no, them. No, these in general are comfortable. Yeah, they're really yeah. good. Yeah. So I might get him a pair. Well, I am going to get him a pair of those. And then, like, some Adidas, like, soccer pants. And then an Adidas, like, crew neck. He loves Adidas? He has no Adidas, but he wants the Ultra Boost. So it's like, he's very bougie and won't mix brands. So he'll only wear the Ultra, ultra Boost when he wears Adidas. Where, when he wears Adidas. So what I'm him that. What kind of joggers are those that are like almost like skinny jean joggers? Those are the, aren't those, those the are. soccer pants? Are those soccer pants? At the bottom? I don't know. I, I don't want soccer pants so bad. I'm trying yeah. to find pants so like those. probably get him two pairs of those. And then an Adidas crew neck. Like Ooh, crew girl, what are you asking him for Christmas? Mm. And then I was going to put toes. it all in like an Adidas duffel bag. Mm. But the Adidas duffel bag, I want to get at Nordstrom, but it's like, hey, babe, can I use your discount? Because he's going to have to buy it for me, and he's going to, it's pretty much going to give away. No, so you get my brother. Your brother. Yeah. Oh, Alex wants to go to the But I already bought my brother. Does he uh, know, that? know that? Yes, he does. Because I, I showed him what I got my brother. Oh, that's Unless your fault. he even messed up. You fucked up. I can say that it's for Who? my gift at work. You going to get somebody a duffel bag for a white elephant? I don't know. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Or just and start then, talking about it. Like, oh my God, I gotta get Alex just one try, more thing. Just get it from the outlet. the outlet. So I need to find a moment to go to the outlet. Yeah. They got good shit And those are hidden, hidden misses. Mm. I want an all black duffel bag. I don't want a purple duffel bag. You can find an all black duffel bag. bag. Like, <laughs> and plus they'll have good deals there too. Like buy one, yeah. one half off. So you can come up on some shit while you're yeah, there. Yeah, I'll go over there. And... But. No, I was trying to find people that work for Nordstrom where I can use their discount. Yeah, you don't know that many people that work for Nordstrom. No, but I have friends that know people that work in Nordstrom. You sure do. That's why she <laughs> That's oh. why she asked. Oh. Hey, do you still talk to so and so? That's why I asked. Just because, you know. I can, I can ask her. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll just give the money. Obviously. That's such a transaction. It is a transaction, but it's worth No, it. fuck that. You can use the Cash App or Venmo. Yeah, I'll totally Venmo. Yeah. But I need you to, like, I need Put you the to, word in. Yes. Yeah, it's not Please. I'm just doing gift cards. Maybe. I know I'm thinking about taking my sisters to a basketball game. The but Storm? A, no, not up here. We're there. going to Kentucky. Oh. Wait, when are you going again? Are you going for Christmas, right? Yeah, it's Christmas Day to the 5th of January. Oh, that'll be a nice vacation. Yeah, and there's one game at uh, the University of Kentucky that's going mm. down, but tickets are expensive as fuck for those college games. Um, you can get a scalp. What are they called? Scalpers. 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 Yeah. I don't know if they have them out there. Though. I'm. Sh- they have them everywhere. They have. Are they are those everywhere. tickets legit? Exactly. Like we we bought when I went to a, a UW basketball game a couple of years ago. 
we bought one from a, a scalper and it was weird because he was the only one out there selling tickets and he like sold them to us and he just like disappeared and we were like we don't know if this is gonna work but it worked luckily so it's like I don't know if like scalpers at college games don't seem like they're around because it's a college game on top of that I don't know are college game tickets expensive? They can be, depending on how popular the team are. Uh-huh. Like, Kentucky is top ranked in the nation. Like, one of the best college football programs out right now. And they're playing, when I'm out there, they're playing Texas A&M. Fucking trash. But the nosebleed tickets are like 60 bucks. And I'm like, all right, I'm taking my sensors. It's me and my sensors. It's like $200 because they're going to have the fees on that shit too. And I'm like, I don't want to sit in the nosebleeds because my sister said that the basketball stadium or whatever is hella big so the nosebleeds are really high oh. so I'm like that, even, that doesn't even sound fun no it sounds awful Mm-mm. is it um, <clears throat> University of Kentucky or yeah. Lul- University of Kentucky <coughs> is that the one the bird no nah, that's bird? Louisville Kentucky's the Wildcats so is that the one that Drake yeah oh, okay. we went out there and played on their basketball team during <laughs> that little thing how does he know them? I don't know. He's Drake. I feel like when you're on that stardom level, you end up knowing anyone and become friends with anyone and everyone. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, they have Drake night at, at Raptors games, which is fucking hilarious. What does that mean? They play all Drake? Like It's his a night that's dedicated to him. Yeah. Does he come? Yeah. yeah. He's there. He comes to the regular games. I mean, they had Drake <clears throat> night when they played the Warriors, mm-hmm. and him and Kevin Durant had a little, like, Altercation. Yes. I don't want to say an altercation. Was it was an altercation. They had like a little. I don't know if they're friends. It was just like really silly. He like yeah. bumped into him. But they are friends though because are they? Drake's talked about him in his songs. Yeah, that's true. That's so, I'm like. So maybe it's all fun and games and the probably, media's just yeah. blowing it out, out yeah, of proportion. Yeah, I'm sure it is. But I'm sure I they think, do it on purpose. Like, yeah, so I, the media can blow it out of proportion. Exactly. I think Katie ran off and was like, I don't give a hell of, I don't give a damn about no Drake Knight. Yeah, and, and then walked off Ooh. from his interview with Durant. That's what it is. He said that? Yeah, because yeah. like Drake like bumped into him during his interview. And then I think the reporter was like, how do you feel like it being Drake Knight or whatever? And... Durant was like, I Did don't they give lose? a fuck about Drake Knight. Uh, and like, no, he. I think they beat the Raptors uh, that night. So I don't give a damn about no Drake Knight. And then walks and... off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the middle of the interview, and that was it. <laughs> but like, Drake is, there's like pictures of him like staring down like Kevin Durant. They're like five feet apart from each other. Yeah. And he's like staring down Kevin Durant. Like, and yeah. Just, like, yeah, we bust that three. Mocking him. Well, Drake's not a fighter. No. no. It's just fun and games. Oh. Like I said, it's like, oh, yeah. Oh, you're a good guy. I don't know. You're getting bodied by a singing nigga. Mm-hmm. We got all those tattoos now, so maybe he feels some type of way. Yeah. Probably. Is he dating Rihanna still? No, they broke up. Already? Mm-hmm. They've well, there's those rumors that he dates like Taylor Swift now, which is not ever going to happen. She wants her new album to be more urban and hip-hop. Is that what she said? So that's why she's, um, Alyssa, she called on Drake to help her with her new album. Is that what she said? She saw the popularity with... Um, Blood with her song "Bad Blood" with the with the remix with Kendrick Lamar, uh-huh. so she wants. Is that what she said? She said yes. So she wants it more urban. Not urban. She used that word, but I find a website used that word. Uh, okay. But she said they wanted to be like she said that they she's going from like a more hip hop. That will make her break her career route because she, she feels like dance. she feels like that's the route her fans oh, are going God. to. That'll be interesting. I think. Music, they sh- people should stay true to themselves musically. She's a pop star. So, <laughs> she does whatever. Whatever's yeah. popular. Yeah, she can yeah. do whatever. Didn't she start out doing country or something? She shit, started though? out country. Yeah. I love her country songs. Bruno Mars' his album. I don't like him. He's cool. I love him. He's popular. And that 24 karat gold song. I, think I love that, that song. That album's not bad. It takes oh, it's you, out already? Yeah, it takes oh. you back. There's only nine songs on it. Oh. But it's really good, though. I feel like you like I feel like you really like that song. I'm really old school. I don't like his like whole anthem songs like uptown funk you up. That's not even his song. Uptown funk you up. Yes, it is. It's Mark Ronson's song. I thought it was him oh, featuring was Mark song. Ronson. No, Mark Ronson. That was Mark Ronson's album that he produced, and everybody was just singing. Like, the ho- does Mark Ronson sing, or no, is he, he like a DJ Khaled? I don't know if he's like a DJ Khaled. I thought he produced all the songs on it. 
and he just got all these artists together. Like, he has a song with so Mystical, that's a, that's a with DJ, Mystical on it. That's a DJ Khaled. No, nah, DJ Khaled is like a director. He'll get producers and put them with rappers. And, and then put it on his album? Put it on his damn album. Yeah. Oh. That's DJ Khaled. But, like, he actually... It's weird, because whenever I follow him on Are Snapchat, you sure I'm telling Funk is it his song? It's Mark Ronson. Trust me. Bruno Mars just made it his song, because he, he did it so well. Well, I don't like that song. I don't, really, I don't really like a lot of Bruno Mars. He's all right. Um, I like... To, he can sing, too, man. Yeah. He's a small guy. Yeah, well, he's Filipino. He's not Filipino, huh? Filipinos are short. Yeah. Like, what, like 5'3"? Is he that short? He's a small Oh, wow, guy. I didn't know he was that short. Sheesh. <sighs> what time is it? It's 9 o'clock. I need to go home. I gotta go to work hella early. Why? <sighs> To so get you can leave early? No, so I can get caught up from the day. Because I had to leave early today. I got in a fucking car accident last week. Oh, I had to yeah. get an uh, estimate today. I told you. You, you should have done some things. Done what? Get some things. I told you that. And you and you said, karma. And, oh, no, oh. it's a young girl. <laughs> and Anyways, no, yeah, no. The nigga, he hit me on the freeway going 10 miles per hour. Not a big deal. Just a dent my bumper but what's crazy is that i bought my truck for 800 bucks right i think kelly blue book has it priced at like 1200 1300 dollars mm. to get that bumper fixed and all that shit 1800 dollars so sometimes it's not worth it exactly when it gets to that point where your repairs cost more than your car it's time to let it go but i'm not paying for on. it though that's well thing. yeah i would have taken the money if i were you instead of having them Fix it. Well, that's, that's the, just me. They're not fixing it yet. That's the pre. That's the. That's the quote that they're gonna give to the insurance company, and then they're gonna call me talking about, you want us to fix it or do you want us to cash you out? I'll tell them to cash my ass out. So we'll see. You're gonna because ca- you can use you can do so much more with that money, like to actually fix what's wrong with that car. Yeah, I know. Like, what is a bumper? Like, it's. I'd a small leave the bumper dent. there. Yeah, but it's like a small little dent. No, that's pretty. So ugly. wait, if they cash you out, you get the car back. Yeah, what the fuck happens? They don't do anything with it. They, they just don't repair it. Yeah. You'll get your car back. You get your car back and yeah. they give you cash? Mm-hmm. Also do that. Yeah, that's really just shit. A... I would think that they would do that. Well, that's that's to pay for something that hit my motherfucking car. Yeah, so I, thought when they ca- I thought when they cash you out, they keep the car. No, see, that's, there's they, options. Like, when I got when my car was totaled, I had two options. They would have they, There was the amount where they would pay me out and then they would give me my car back. Or they would completely pay me out and keep the car. Hmm. So, like, I obviously took the one with more money because my car, car was totaled. Total. Total, your so. car was fucked. But you just have a bump in yours. Like a yeah, bit. like, everything still works. Yeah. The frame, everything's fucking fine. Just my bumper's fucked up. So yeah. I would just, yeah, I would and just. And I bought that truck for it to be a banger, so. Yeah, I would take the money and the car. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. I would be oh, probably... I need to get to a car accident. Mm. <laughs> 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 You'll be carless. I mean, you have to get sure, into yeah, like, the true. perfect car accident. Mm-hmm. Not get hurt. I was lucky we were going so slow. Like was, he, was other people in the car? No, it was me and then him. And, but he was in this big fucking truck. Like, he was in a, um, a fucking Dodge... I want to say it's a Dodge Dakota. Is that what they're called? But it was a, it was a, it was a dual. So, like, it was those big-ass work trucks with the four uh, wheels in the back. Uh-huh. And, like, he had a fucking... Um, was he apologetic? Yeah, he, like, we both were like, like, he fucked up. Like, he he knew he fucked up. And he was just like, I fucked up. Here's my insurance. Let's just keep, like, just get this on the road. I'm like, yeah, I'm cool with that. And this is as long as he had insurance. But it was his job's insurance, which made it even better. Because nobody would give a fuck about anything. Because he wasn't paying for it. I wasn't paying for mm-hmm. it. So. But, yeah, he hit me with a big, he hit me with his big ass truck. Nothing happened to his truck. Because he had this little grill protector thing. Mm-hmm. And yeah, so I was like, "Oh shit!" I felt like I got tackled. And then yeah, and then I popped my tire the weekend before that in the car. Found a tire for sixty bucks on Amazon though, same exact tire. Why did you just go to a used tire place? No, what? I don't like that. I like, um, because it's gonna be a totally different tire. So I wanted to look for the tire that I already have before I do that. So I'm just riding on the spare. And then... And you're waiting for the Amazon one to get here? Mm-hmm. It should be here tomorrow. Then I can go... I know ahead. Amazon sells tires. Amazon sells everything. You can buy literally anything on Amazon. Is it brand new? Yeah. Oh. 
And then you have to put it on yourself? No. I can take it to the shop. Costco would do it for 15 bucks. Oh, really? What if they try to, like, oh, you know, this tire no, is... No, they ain't, they ain't gonna say it to me, but I'm gonna be like, no, nope, these tires are new. Because I got those put on during the summertime. I don't get hustled. <laughs> do you get hustled when you go to the car shops? Sometimes I feel like I do, but most of the time I'm like, no. Or I'm like, oh, they're like, oh, sir, I think you should get X, Y, and Z. I'm like, oh, yeah, my dad. He's right <laughs> down the list. My dad will pay for it. He's gonna... He's gonna do another. We're gonna go to a different place. Well, so like my biggest, just, my biggest fear is to feel helpless. So I try to at least know a, a little bit of something about everything that uh-huh. I spend money on, because like with cars, I want to know about the car. I know like okay, they're gonna try and offer me to do like a fuel system clean shit like that, and I'll do it eventually. But it's not like dire. Yeah, and then like when I took my truck in to get all the stuff fixed on it, I had them tell me what's most important. Straight up, and like there's a leak, and then my rear brakes. I was like, okay, I can do the brakes myself. You guys can fix the leak, and that was it. I have to come up with a with a, a, a story to lie. Why? Why? I'm not. I'm I'm good. I'm good with lying on the spot, but then like, I don't know. Sometimes I just panic. I'm like, okay, just do it, and then they'll be like, okay, um, your bill is now four hundred dollars. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> But I got to come up with something just like... Just be like, no, it's okay. I could just say I can do it myself. That's it. You can't be like, no, you can't. You're like, you don't know me. Like, oh, just, you're just right. Be like, okay, I will think about it for a moment and I will get back to you guys when I can at the soonest. They love to upsell. Yeah. And like, I don't know. And like, if you ever need help with stuff, like super basic shit, like bricks, because bricks are expensive as fuck, but they're not that hard to mess with. I could always help you and be like, okay, you should get your brakes done or something like that. Because Do you have a car jack? Yeah, I bought one the other day for 20 bucks. And it lifts up the whole car? Yeah, two tons. Oh. That's how I changed my brakes the other day. Well, how do you know what brakes to buy? You go online. And you type in what kind of car you have, and then it'll do it all for you and figure out what uh, your car... Your car, I've seen... The front's always going to have disc brakes. The rear, though... is different brakes. Yeah, it could be rotors. Or not rotors, but uh, drum brakes. And those shits are really tricky. So, if those are drum brakes, I can't help you. <laughs> like, I could, but I really can't. I, I, I just have a phobia of people doing it for me that I just feel like... I just rather have a professional because yeah. I don't want to die. Whatever. But your car's like old enough to where it's like you can pretty much do yeah. it to anyone mm-hmm. and they can yeah. do it, right? Well, I always take my shit to Firestone, cause they don't try to upsell me on anything. They yeah, just I take mine to Firestone too. Well, I yeah. usually take my Honda to Firestone. Yeah. Now since my car is still kind of new, I just take it to the shop or it take it to the, the people. Yeah. yeah. I'm taking the soda after we're done using it as a stand. Oh, I was gonna Are we done? Care. I got a shower. You yeah, gross. I you showered need to get this out morning. She's shower again. I can't wait to see you out on Wednesday. That shit's gonna be hilarious, cause I know you're gonna be drunk as hell. No, because I have to wake up early and cook. Before I go to my like said, So you gonna be drunk. You gonna be drunk. You still gonna be drunk. Gonna be drunk as hell. <laughs> you gonna text us at eight in the morning talking about I don't know why y'all let me come out. I gotta cook this shit. <laughs> I'm so hungover. I'm so hungover. <laughs> Mom's gonna talk about this food is undercooked. I was hungover as hell, Mom. I'm sorry. Well, I might need a ride. Ride where? Because I've been trying to tell DeAndre that like we're going, we're going, we're a team, we're going. Wait, like to the bar part or the food part? The food part, the I, food think part? Works, I, you, yeah, I think he oh, works. I told you. Yeah, I think he works. Oh, he's cooking. So he got people cooking. Which is, what do you mean people? He got he got connect. Well, he I got, might be doing that solo, Dello, if I if I'm able to go. Yeah, it's whatever. What people? Because um, um, like a cater like a staff. No, I guess he like family friends that cook a lot. And what are they gonna make? So is it gonna Bunch be a Roman's shit, place or Roman's mom's place? I want. I bet you. I wouldn't be surprised if it was between both places. What do you mean? Like how they did it before. Like mm-hmm. bouncing back and forth? Well, yeah. it was like Roman's place was more like the bar area. Where's Roman's place? Eat, Downstairs from his mom's place. Oh, I'm thinking across the street. No, no it's no, pretty, it's a, it's a fun setup. Yeah. Um, what, I want to know what's on the menu. What does it matter? What type of food is you it? You don't come or not. You going to the damn movie? What type of food is it? I'm not going to it because they just extended the date. Well, then come and find out. He told we'll me. go together. He told me to invite y'all. So I sent him a text and I was like, 
I am really hurt that I did not get a personal invite. He's like, I was on my way out to Vegas. Yeah, he got a girlfriend in Vegas. I yeah. saw the picture. He got a girlfriend in Vegas? Yeah. yeah. She, she used to go to high school with us. She lives there? Yeah, yeah. And he lives here. How did they meet? Or is this too much for the podcast? It's too much for the podcast. Oh, okay. We can talk about it off there. But anyways, it's so I'm, I'm happy for him. Well, yeah, I'm happy when my friends are happy in general. Yeah. So... Um, well, I might be that. I just want to know what type of food it's going to be. Well, what does you it matter? Find out. Jeez, Louise, food is food. Well, because I know he's a different ethnicity. What? He's what Mexican. The, what? what? The so no, I want some Mexican food then. You're not, you're not going to get all <laughs> no, the yeah, Mexican food. Yeah, he said his friends this. are cooking. Anyways, so I'm, I would, I'm thinking, would it be a good gesture if I came to his house with like a bottle? Like, here, thank you for having these people over. These people? <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, having you're inviting us over to your humble abode. Here's a bottle of alcohol. Should we bring something? No, we'll just bring ourselves, Mary. Yeah. No, I was gonna bring like a bottle or something. Okay, great. Let's yeah. put my name on it. Let's put my name on it. <laughs> so, I don't know, man. Is there, I want to know the guest list. Don't worry about it. What just, does it matter? Either you guys, people that you went to high school with. Yeah, it's gonna be old Jeez, friends you haven't please. seen in a long time. We've been talking for an hour and a half. No, I I want to know who it's all there. I want. To show up. A part of me is just like, damn, I'm going to be fucking backtracking, though, because I'm driving all the way to back to Lakewood, and then I'm drive all the way to Tacoma, and I don't know, though. I'll, I'll show up. Just come after work or something. No. Well, no, she got to pick me up. Yeah. We're going together. She just said. I said, if I go, we're going together. No, that's not what you said at all. You said, we're, <laughs> you said we can go together. It's, you didn't that's say if, if I go. Oh. <laughs> Anyways. We can go now. Yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. We got jobs and shit. We got shit. shit to do the next two days before it's vacation time. I gotta go to fucking, I gotta grocery shop tomorrow. God, it's gonna be crazy. Well, do you have yeah. a grocery? Oh, it's yeah. Well, you don't have to get... do that much stuff. Well, no, I gotta get stuff for the mashed potatoes and then... Don't you just eat potatoes? Oh, you need milk. <laughs> and probably... you need butter. Potatoes, you need milk, butter. You need I didn't know you know how to make mashed potatoes. Yeah. yeah. Sour cream. I didn't sour know cream. you do all this. You can put sour cream. You could put sour cream in it, yeah. Since when you I was gonna do, so... Why do you have so many pillows? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Keep them. No, away. I didn't. No, I didn't buy all those. I'm gonna slap you across the two? face of one. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> These were at the old house. Oh, one. I had one, but I got rid of it. I got rid of it. Yeah. So we're gonna end this podcast. <laughs> Bye. We'll talk to you later. Thank you guys for subscribing. Yeah, will be so dry, probably so dry, lumpy. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna bake. Bye. Burp. Hold the burp. <laughs>